Hello everyone. I've been getting several questions about the system and comparing to other screens and comparing it to Android as well. Uh, I want to answer some of your questions and go through the um, the design and, and some of the features of the system and compare it to what's out there right now. Um, first off, this is a Windows based system so uh, the reason I'm using Windows is because it supports dual screen setup so I can have a control screen at your console area plus your main dash screen. Okay, The Android computers only support one screen and the computers are integrated to the screen much like this here you're just going to get your computer and screen as a integrated system which makes it difficult when you are customizing sizes for different cars or trying to get space uh, in between and behind the dash and that sort of thing so the flexibility of having a remote computer is, uh, is favorable as well as the boot time for a Windows system is much better. Um, most of the Android systems are 20 to 30 seconds to go from ignition on to a usable screen so you're going to be giving up features like electronic touchscreen uh, engine start stop. Uh, this system also does uh, window controls up down, automatic, full up down with one touch. Um, another good feature about the uh, the Windows based system is I'm able to program uh, automated uh, touchscreen controls for the stock climate systems. Uh, many of the vehicles pre 2007, maybe even earlier, don't have CAN bus communication between the HVAC system. Uh, some of them are also just outdated to the point where it's it's push button or electrical signals only so this system can interface to those old school climate systems whereas the Android relies on CAN bus only so when we're talking about electronic interfaces for the older style climate systems this this setup excels in that area because you can use electronics to manipulate the uh, the push button systems and the older uh, non CAN bus drive systems. Um, also, with graphics, this this compares fairly well. We're getting 4K high resolution. This is um, sunlight readable, of course. I'm also getting questions about this vehicle image. The reason I'm using this <clears throat> is because I was able to get an image with this vehicle from several angles so I could do a front view, a side view, and a back view. There's no problem replacing this graphic with something more um, modern, more appealing. It just needs to be a high resolution image from several angles. I was able to find a 3D model. I think many of you have seen my video on Instagram where I found a 3D model. I can rotate the car and get any angle I want. Just have to make sure I can get the colors to replicate um, you know your own paint scheme you can also send me a picture of your own car here and have you know customized image of, of your car on the screen as opposed to somebody else's so that's another another bonus um, as far as watching movies and media you can watch movies on this high definition this is a 720p probably not going to show very well on my cell phone. I'm using a cell phone to record this, but this is uh, pretty crystal clear stuff. And, um, you know, you can you can expand the size of the screen to get larger video. You can go full screen. The only thing is you're going to lose the aspect ratio, so you can go, you know, if you have room to put a bigger screen in your car, this one is a 12, 12.3 inch up and 8 across. This one's a 10 inch a little bit smaller but um, you know you can resize these screens to get larger video if you wanted um, the only thing is like I say you're gonna lose the aspect ratio so it might blow up this way more but whoops sorry you might um, blow up this way more but you're gonna lose some of the video on the side um, 
that's just Everything how video works. You can, you can stretch it, but you might Those lose some of your, uh, your information. Uh, what else? We do have navigation here as well. And uh, this is a pretty good program. I'm just going to pause it while it loads. Just give me a sec. All right, so we're back into the GPS here, and it's a very nice program. Many features called Seven Ways. And to get out of it, we're going to hit Menu and hit that's that button there, the, the exit door to get back. Now, the only problem I have now, Windows does not interface well with Bluetooth. I've tried many things like an external Bluetooth dongle. I've tried programs uh, such as uh, BlueStacks and uh, your phone from Microsoft. Microsoft and Windows-based systems cannot interface to Android very well because this is a different protocol. It's a different type of language. So this is actually, this stereo unit is actually the same thing as your phone. It's just a little bit bigger. There's no difference between this and your phone in terms of functionality. So what you're getting here is trying to interface an Android protocol with the Windows and they're different languages so to speak. Okay, so to, in order to get your Android phone to work with Windows, you have to use third-party software and in this case we have to plug into a USB cable because Windows and the Windows operating system cannot communicate through Bluetooth. Um, so Android does excel in the cell phone communication and mirroring, mirroring capabilities because it is in fact itself a phone. Your head unit is basically your cell phone. So you can talk to two cell phones because they have the same operating system, they speak the same language. Um, so that is the, uh, the biggest difference is the communication between your cell phone and, and the, um, the screen itself. Now I do have a phone mirroring software on here which I'm going to go into in depth. Just I'm going to pause the video and set it up. Okay, so I have my phone connected to the screen now and I can control my phone from the keypad or from the uh, touch screen. That's not a problem. It does everything in terms of phone control from the screen. I can also control my phone and it'll mirror on the screen. This is a phone mirroring program. So the the only thing that's lacking as I mentioned before, Windows cannot communicate through Bluetooth very well. The audio will not come through the system. It will only come through the phone speaker. So your phone audio, your calls, you'll have to put your phone on speaker and then you can hear the call coming through on the phone. That's the biggest downfall of this. But the trade-off, in my opinion, to have dual screen capability, engine start stop, faster loading, all those other benefits outweigh the audio uh, issue that I'm trying to resolve. What I'm, as you can see, you can surf, you can mirror everything from your phone, you can watch videos from YouTube, but once again, the videos you play from your phone, the audio will only come through the phone speaker. And I'm trying to find a solution for that, but it's not very easy. Windows is apparently coming up with software to, to update the audio problem. And once that happens, the system can be, uh, the system can be updated. All right, and other features, uh, we do have backup camera capability as well. Right now we're looking at a power supply. Um, you know, I can make the video 720, 1020, or 1080p. Depending on the camera, we can have forward and dual camera, uh, rear, rear camera setups, which is pretty cool. Um, in other menus you can have your date time on and off, trip counters, it does odometer, um, you can have the animation on the main screen or just the console. 
So there's there's quite a few features on here. And like I said, I am trying to develop an, an Android platform for this for this setup, but it's just going to be a single screen option and uh, there won't be any dual screen control capabilities. You're going to lose a lot of the features that uh, that people look for in, in this system like the uh, the engine start and the window controls and the lighting controls and that sort of thing so um, and also custom gauges that I can make for boost and and other things that that are not on the uh, the CAN bus like OEM vehicles if you're putting in a an aftermarket engine with with other gauge requirements you're not going to be able to get that so in my opinion the trade-off is to stay with the windows and possibly develop a single screen Android system for um, for those that want it I mean I understand there's people that really do appreciate the phone interfacing and um, some of the apps for for media but we can do music and um, and video on here so this is a Windows media player you can also get the uh, steering wheel controls for this and everything so that's that's pretty much the comparison between the two and I hope that makes sense if you have any questions email me write me on Facebook or Instagram and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thank you